Hey, this is John from Indiana. John from Indiana, what's on your mind? Uh, sorry about that. I had a business call come in, so I apologize. Well, um, <clears throat> la di da. I also had a business call. It was with you. Uh, you just didn't answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, Sam. Uh, uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, I really, uh, uh, I, I've I've had a lot of thoughts over the last few weeks, and I've been trying to call in to to kind of get them across and. Um, I don't know. I, I guess what I would really like to talk about ultimately, because I've spent a few weeks thinking about this, is I think your show has a bit of a blind spot that I think... Just one? Fill in the, well, <laughs> I mean, uh, I think you guys do really good coverage on, on trans issues for the most part. I think you guys need to have more trans people on your show, though, and more callers, or, I mean... I don't know. I uh, I called you out on Twitter. I, I, I imagine you saw that. Um, I was being inflammatory, so as to capture your attention. So, you know, I'm I'm sorry if, uh, for for doing that. But I don't know. Um, I, I did not. But go ahead. All right. So what? Uh, what, oh, uh, what say your say uh, what what your your point is. So my 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 biggest point is that um, this whole Anna Kasparian thing came up, and. I feel like a lot of people have sort of got some whiplash from this and have not really wanted to call it what it is. And I think only really one person in that leftist media sphere, which is uh, Ole uh, or uh, Oleami, I, I can't say her name right, uh, just called it out as being a grift, which is immediately what I thought it was. And I don't know. I just I feel like you guys kind of dropped the ball on that because you never put the tweets up. You never showed the context, and you've got didn't a lot we, of listeners. Did, didn't I address this like before? I, I mean, I wasn't here. I, my understanding is that things uh, progressed somewhat last week when they, I was out. But but the week, the but but two or three weeks ago, I thought I addressed it, didn't I? You did, and that was that was me that I called in. You you spoke to me. Um, oh, okay. And um and so like I was trying to call in about, because people kept talking about the tweet as if it were a tweet and it was actually a lot of tweets um, I, I, I mean i'll be honest with you i saw that one tweet uh from anna and that's what i was responding to i yeah don't like i'm not on twitter as much maybe as people want me to be um sure. i don't you know i you know there's there's this uh sense that like um, you know, I won't talk about TYT because I'm uh, friends with them or because I do business with them. Like, I, I, I've i known Jenk for, you know, a long time, but he lives in L.A. I, I mean, I've probably spoken to him in person, I don't know, maybe 10 times over the past almost 18 years. Um, sure. I've been on that show. At one point, we were, you know, part of the the YouTube network, which, and just to make this clear to people the relationship that we had in business was i was their client in other words yeah. i paid them money right to optimize our youtube channel because and we did that for more far longer than i think like a business person who had a business sense would have done it because i didn't want to have to manage somebody doing that for us I didn't know how to do it. I didn't care and this and that. So I was yeah. never getting money from them. I don't have sure. some reason, some, you know, nefarious reason not to criticize them. But I also don't feel a huge compulsion to um, observe every tweet that they do or what's on their show. I cannot express to people how misguided they are in terms of what they assume I watch on a daily basis. I don't, I don't have enough hours in the day for me to monitor what TYT is doing. And I think like on balance, my sense is, then you know, I've always, you know, considered myself uh, to the left of like, you know, uh, of Jenk. Like I had arguments with him 18 years ago or 15 years ago about the Bill Clinton administration. And, right. you know, uh, but I don't, but that was just like, I was invited onto the show or, uh, or I was on the show or whatever I was. And that came up. I mean, it's not like I'm, you know, monitoring them. And so I don't, I think like, you know, 
I, I thought that tweet was ridiculous. Do right. I know but that's why? Just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, because but she if it, had if a lot she's of responses. T- okay, if she's tweeting all this stuff out, I the I, I'm not defending her. But I I'm don't, not saying you are, but I'm saying that... You're saying it's any, incumbent if, if, upon me to I'm be... Poli- it, wait, I'm, let me finish. Let me finish. You're saying it's incumbent upon me to be monitoring her tweets so that I can provide a super accurate representation of what her ideology is. I criticized her tweets. But I, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if you're going to weigh in on it... You should have all the facts and that in I just weighed we in this off, on one thing and that I was the that, tweet. But, but the show's weighed in on it three times. It's very clear. It makes Emma uncomfortable. Well, no, of course it said, makes if, Emma if, uncomfortable. I mean, but she didn't have to address it. She could have said, hey, you know we what? Getting, this is my hun- we were getting friend. 20 IMs about it. We okay. have to address I, it. I, I, think, no, listen, listen, I think you do have an argument. I think you have an argument. Okay, hold on. Hold on. John, John, you have an argument. Yeah. We could have said, and I've done this at times, like, you know, like w- w- with something with like some of the Louis C.K. stuff, I said, you know, Louis, I, I mean, I'm not in touch with him in the same way I was, but Louis was a friend of mine, uh, and I know this from a different perspective, I don't want to weigh in on it. And I suppose that, you know, Emma could have said, I'm not going to talk anything about it whatsoever, but it's not it's like, but, wait, 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 but, but hold on, John, hold on. Okay. The responsibility we have, okay, in talking about this stuff, and I don't even like, you know, like, I like going after right-wingers, but when I do a, a segment on, uh, on, on Jimmy Dore, or when I do a segment on, uh, you know, Steven Crowder, I like there to be something in there that I can also, that is around an issue that I can, I can pivot off of. There are times we're not, you know, a hundred percent faithful to that. There are times where we like dip into like, what's the psychology behind this? You know, like a guy like Dave Rubin is just so such a joke that we would do that for a, a while. But I don't see as my responsibility to provide the TYT report. Okay. I'm not. And saying, hold on, John. I, Let me finish. And. <sighs> And it is not like Emma has hidden the fact that she used to be on TYT, that she works with TYT, that they're friends of hers. So everybody has like, this full disclosure. When I talk about Matt Taibbi, I make it clear, you know, Matt used to be a friend of mine. Matt did uh, part of his, uh, his podcast when he started his podcast with Green. They did it out of this office. Um, and to the extent that I make any speculation as to what he's doing, you know, I do it based upon what my firsthand knowledge is. I have no firsthand knowledge of what Anna okay. uh, or, or Jenk. And to the extent that Emma does, like, she said what she's comfortable with. I didn't see, you know, what, what her responses were. I was out of town. Um, but maybe the issue is like, you want the show to do something differently than it is. That's not I our responsibility. Show, I want no. I want the. Sh- I, I feel like this is a disingenuous framing because I want the show. The show's addressed it three times. Never put up a single tweet. Never mentioned the fact that she's liking tweets from trans folks. I don't she, know I don't what know. she's liking. I know tweets. that you don't know that. I know that you don't know that. But your viewers, people are pointing it out. I tried to hop in your YouTube chat last week to tell viewers who don't know this, and your mods muted me. Okay. Because people I, don't know this. Okay. They, like people aren't on Twitter. They don't know this. And they're, her birthing person inclusive language shit goes back to February of 2022 when Sandy Lovis went on TYT and explained it to them. So when this whole grift happened, it was a like Sandy is a MR contributor and has, I mean, was writing on Twitter about like my whole point is. If you your your point is that I have not done enough homework on monitoring her tweets. And I'm telling you, that's not my job. That's okay. not my job. I know you want it to be my job, 
but it's not I'm my not job. I can't go through every single YouTuber and give an assessment. You could raise your YouTube comments where people said this kind of stuff. Wait, dude, or you do you think, let me ask you a question. A do you, you think, do you think that I have stuff? the time to go through all of our YouTube comments? I mean, you could go through a fraction of them. Well, which fraction? Know anything which about fraction? The which fraction should I go through? My point. My point is just you yours. Guys run a business. You guys run a business, and that's fine. But you act. It's not like a business. This is not. A, this is not a business it's decision. A business. It's, it's a. It, it, this is not a business bi- okay. decision at all. A, that's what I resent okay. is the implication that somehow I'm not doing this because I'm afraid of offending. TYT or I'm somebody saying else. You're I'm, saying, I'm, not saying I'm, saying I'm saying I'm not going to read every YouTube comment. I'm yes. You never even explained properly why the inclusive language was important. You went about whoa, 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 what? Like, Are you okay. serious? You yes, because I uh, Sam. I you're remember saying, you're saying that on this program, about, I've never said why inclusive language is important. I never said that you. Okay, what I'm saying is. And what trans people were saying is the malicious compliance aspect of what insurance companies will do to them and how dysphoria will keep like you talked about it as sort of this polite thing. Like it doesn't cost me anything to use inclusive language. That's great. But it costs trans people their lives when the language is not used. Well, what? And, yeah, wait, wait. I didn't just say it cost me nothing to uh, use inclusive language. I'm saying that's, that's one half of the equation. The other half of the equation is I'm talking about almost on a daily basis. We talk on this program about the um, the legislation that is happening in in over uh, almost over 20 states. We talk about the um, the attacks on trans people. We talk about what it does to uh, to trans kids. I mean, I'm sorry if we're not doing the job you want us to do in policing uh, Anna's tweets or Jenks tweets or anybody else's tweets. And I'm not reading enough YouTube comments for you, but I mean, they've been running a three year grift at this point. Like it's pretty obvious. No, it's not. I, Listen, I'm not saying it's obvious to you. It's not obvious to it's me. It's obvious to and, most, it's obvious to a lot of people that well, they've been running a right. Okay. For three years. Good. At this point. Good. Good. I mean, I, 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 you just want me to do something different than the show is doing. And what I wanted I was for Emma and you to either not address it or to bring on a trans person to address it or to do your homework. It's been addressed three times on the show without showing a single tweet. There Wait, are did we not put up the tweet? No. All right. Well, you know what, dude? Never. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, that. but you would do it. But you've done it for plenty of right. Like you'll spend all this time. I'm hanging up on you. I gave you. I gave you 13 minutes. Um, Listen. Here's here's the bottom yeah, yeah, line. Ahead. Here's the bottom yeah, line. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no. Like, I just I just want to make this absolutely clear. That like this policing Anna or TYT is just not uh, like the, one of my priorities. And I understand that there are people who watch the show who want us to have different priorities. I if the issue is that we have in some way like uh, been bad on trans issues then that's i think a legitimate i I would disagree um but that's a at least a critique that i can address but for i've been doing this now for 18 years there's always people who want the show to focus on one thing versus another and i it's just i'm sorry they're, they're find a show that is focusing on what you want it to focus on and do it. It's just, there's nothing more frustrating. And, and listen, if you think that I'm not saying enough about whatever MSNBC, because I, you know, I haven't really gotten paid from them in, in, uh, in quite some time, but, um, but, or uh, that I'm, you know, uh, if the critique is that you're not being critical of TYT because of a business relationship or something like that, that is at least a critique that I can address. But I cannot address the idea that I'm not policing what tweets Anna is liking or 
I'm not reading enough YouTube comments to find out that she's liking these tweets. Like, it's just not a priority for me. There's, you know, a lot. I, I don't even know. I, I, I will not even make this assessment. There are actors out there that I perceive I can address better or maybe worse than than what I saw. I we talked about the tweet. I think we read the tweet. If we didn't put it up on the screen, I don't. You know, I, I, it's not a conscious. The we don't have a big operation here. I mean, do, do people understand? Like, like the, we, we don't have. This is, this is like. Well, I, I just wanted just to say the light goes out. Yeah, I fixed yeah, it. Sam's just Sam changed the light this morning. Well, like you know, like uh, <laughs> the bathroom's dirty. I, I clean it. Not enough, but I do try and do it. Like it's like we don't we, we, every day. Like you know, and and it's a race to to you know organize this shit like you know two minutes before the thing i'm like still writing stuff out like i don't know if people have this perception of like we've got you know some uh, ocean of people here working you know, like we're putting up graphics i mean it's pretty obvious this is pretty low-fi here and but i also just want to say i i think it's a i think it's a kind of uh from my perspective, when I was because I was here when when we were doing a lot of the re re reaction because uh, you, you when you were out, Sam. Um, I, I apologize just, for taking vacation. No, you, you should be. I don't, but, um, Emma, but Emma, if the if the critique is that we didn't show the tweet, I just think that is a kind of a granular critique when Emma did absolutely address the substance and her position on it multiple times, and I also reject the idea that the entire viewership here or anyone keeping track of what was going on on Twitter or online or whatever would have been okay with Emma not saying something. Well, I was, I can, I can see the, I can see the, well, of course, it's, I it's can see the absurd. messages we get. I can see the emails we can get. I can see her Twitter mentions. You can see her Twitter mentions. If, if, if she's damned, if she did and she's damned, if she didn't, she'd be, she'd be seen right, as keeping silent or being complicit. If she didn't say something and anyone's going to critique or nitpick everything she did say. So it's just, it's not fair to say, Oh, you shouldn't have said anything. And that would have been better. Cause that's not true. And it wouldn't have been true for Emma either. No, I, I mean, I think that's, you know, I, I think, I think that's, I, I, yeah, I think it's just unreasonable. Frickin' Freak says, I think that person is saying that TYT is actually a right-wing centrist project that we should probably highlight more than we are. And all I can say is that, like, look, uh, Jenk, the TYT has been doing this for 20 years. Um, there are, I, 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 Again, I don't watch their show. I don't watch really any other show, except I don't even watch this show. Um, but I don't think that they're a right-wing project. I think that's absurd. They may not have you know politics that uh, you agree with at different at, at certain times, but I don't think they're a right-wing project. If there is more evidence that comes out that they are a right-wing project or their positions are you know. But I, do I think that uh, Anna's take on that trans language, to the extent that I'm aware of it, um, is bad? Yes, I made that very clear. Um, but, and if if it becomes clear to me, like, you know, uh, at one point it became obvious to me where Jimmy Dore was headed. And uh, a lot of people we're very upset that I said that eight years ago, seven years ago, whatever it was. Um, but that's what I saw. And that's what I said. He was with TYT at the time. I, I have no, I have no problems calling it out. In fact, I ran into Jank at some conference and he's like, how, how can we, uh, you know, how can we work this thing out with you and Jimmy? And I'm like, Oh, you can fire him. That's how you can work it out. Like, I don't, People like I'm not holding back anything. It's just that like I'm not yeah, deploying. You highlight, you highlight the YouTube chat. <laughs> I'm just like I'm not deploying my my time or efforts in the way that you want me to, and because I've made a determination for myself as to like where my efforts are best concerted based upon like what I see. There's there's a thousand fires out there. 
and I'm looking at the biggest ones and the ones that I'm have closest proximity to and where I can reach the, the hose and pour on the water. And, and that's the way that I operate. I don't, there's no, there's no other nefarious thing here. I'm not worried about offending anybody because I'm not really friends with anybody. <laughs> Like, I mean, that's just... But you're at, I think it's absolutely right in the sense of, like, we have a finite amount of time. We have a finite amount of... Room. Even though I've expended uh, yeah, now, that's, 45 that's, minutes that's, on this. That's what I'm saying is that even even like, even like us spending this time is, is at the expense of whatever else we... Oh, yeah, yes, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, and... Jules Winfield. Trans people, we feel like we're under attack from all sides. The critique is just a critique. Uh, hoping someone of your stature who we all look up to will fight for us. That's all. I mean, I'm trying to do that. I think I, I feel like, you know, and and I am open to again, I am open to a critique of like you're being insensitive in this area. You're not aware of this. I mean, I have m on multiple occasions have um, made it very explicit that, you know, in December or November, or maybe it was December, or November of last year. I thought like, okay, Michigan proves that um, uh, attacking uh, trans people is a loser and we're not going to see Republicans go down that road. And it was a, a, an IMer, I think it was, um, who corrected me and said, you got to pay more attention to the legislation that's being passed in the states now. And I did. And I... I don't know if it took me a day or two or whatever it was, uh, came back and I was like, I, I, I was mistaken. I was wrong. And we started uh, referencing Aaron Reed's, uh, is it Aaron Reed? Mm -hmm. um, who, you know, has a, I think it's a Google doc and it's tracking these things and uh, I may pay more attention and, you know, but I mean, people have to realize the, the limitations I understand. I, I, I mean, I, I, I get it. But like when it gets down to like, you know, I'm not covering what tweets Anna's liking enough. We're losing. We're losing. And, and, and look, people want to come up with a dossier and write up a document. <laughs> Honestly, you know, there's no nothing to hold you back from writing up a document. But if you're going to make me comb through YouTube comments. That's also just the funniest thing. The it? right fraction <laughs> of it to piece together, you know, over time, like, uh, you know, it's just, you're not doing your job. A little inside baseball before we get move on from this, but I just want everyone to know that even when Matt is here, I am the only person reading YouTube chat unless Matt is fighting with somebody in the YouTube chat. So Yeah, I just, I, I, I can't Sam, possibly Sam do it. Sam is not no. going to be signal boosting certain YouTube chats. 